This is extremely important. It's important first that you know exactly who is running for office. And if you want to call yourself a Republican, you want to call yourself a conservative, it's absolutely incumbent upon you to support the Republican nominee for president. I'm the only person in the race that voted for, supported, even wrote op-eds in favor of the Republican nominee for president, Donald J. Trump. Now, why does it matter? It matters because in 2014, Jerry Brown was elected with 4.3 million votes to be governor. In 2016, Donald Trump got 4.4 million votes right here in the state of California. That means that literally, if all we do is turn out the Trump voters and the disaffected Democrats that have been left behind by the California Democrat Party, then Travis Allen will be your next governor of the state of California. Republicans have lost for decades in California because we put up candidates that truly are not who they represent themselves to be. Meg Whitman in the most recent presidential election voted for crooked Hillary Clinton. Neil Kashkari in the previous election voted for Barack Hussein Obama. And we all know about Governor Schwarzenegger. It's important we get a real conservative that supports the president in California. Mr. Cox, what's your response? Uh, I support the president. Uh, he's cut taxes. He's cut regulations. Uh, you know, he gave money to some Democrats, and I was worried about that, and, and so did my opponent. He gave money to Gavin Newsom and Barbara Boxer and Jerry Brown uh, just a well, few you, years ago. you gave ago. money to George wait, wait, Soros, just, just so there a, you just, go, buddy. Just a, just a few years ago. Excuse me, I didn't interrupt you. Uh, but, you know, the real issue here is who is the real conservative? And I go back 30 years. Uh, I was on Jack Kemp's steering committee when he ran for president in 1987. Uh, I have uh, connections all throughout Washington. Newt Gingrich endorsed me. Uh, I, I've been endorsed by a lot of other conservative leaders like Senator Jim Nielsen up in the north. So, you know, I'm a true conservative and anybody who looks at my record can say that. And, you know, the politicians like to engage in gotcha and attacks. I want to talk about how we're going to make the quality of life better in this state. I want to talk about how we're going to make it so people can afford their house and their gasoline and their electricity and they can get water. Uh, these are the issues I think we need to be talking about, uh, but I do support the president. I know that a lot of conservative voters, though, they are interested in this. So 30 seconds more each, please. Thank you very much. So this was just brought up. You know, in 2010 and 2011, I attended some events that were put on by Democrats at the behest of some of my business clients. And this is actually where I saw exactly what these people were doing. Much like the president, I saw this is why my family and friends and clients have all left the state, which is exactly why I got elected and became the most conservative voice in California. As recently as 18 months ago, John Cox gave money to a George Soros affiliated PAC that paid for Democrats, pro-choice Democrats, to attack Republicans. He's also voted for Jimmy Carter and once even applied to be a Democrat DNC delegate. Mr. Cox? You know, it, it's all about attacks. I mean, I, I was a Democrat growing up, so this is how ridiculous this is. And the Soros thing is I gave money to a group to collect signatures for an initiative I was working at. So, you know, this is what politicians do, Evan. They twist facts and they make them seem bigger than they are, and they do it to cover up their own inadequacies. And that's fine. I get it. You know, this is politics. I want to talk about how we're going to make this state better for people, how we're going to improve the quality of life. And I, as a conservative, I believe you do that through the free markets and through uh, private I initiative and not big government. And that's, that's, that's a record I'll stand for. Can John and I participate? Uh, you in absolutely can. You know, let, Go ahead. let me just say something. You know, I, I was a, a Democrat who brought Democrats and Republicans together. Uh, when I was speaker, before I was speaker, Democrats sat on one side and Republicans sat on the other. I brought them together. I gave uh, Republicans uh, proportionality of resources, usually winner takes all for the most part. I let the, the Republican leader name every single vice chair. When I was mayor, uh, my, ch my last chief of staff was a Republican. Uh, you know, I think that's what's broken. You know, we have too many yeah. people screaming at one another. I, I want to work with Republicans. I, I want to work with everyone to move our state forward, to build more middle class jobs, to finally address the fact that, you know, our, our politics is broken. There's too yes. much screaming, Forget too much polarization. Attacks. Let's yeah. work together. But yeah. let me ask you about the president, though, because obviously it's been an